Welcome back my loves. I'm so excited to share with you my updated twist out routine that worked on my fussy natural hair. I always start my twist out on a freshly washed hair. My hair is freshly washed and as you can see it is still damp. So I have already divided it into six sections, three on each side. Next, I'm going in with my hydrating leave-in. So I'm going to spread that over that section. You can use your regular leave-in if that is what you have. After that, I'll go in with my Cantu Avocado Coiling Cream. So I'm just rubbing it in, making sure that each strand gets the product. After that, I'll take a little section. I'll detangle it. I'll be using a comb. You can use a brush. Use whatever you love. Then I'll be going in with Aunt Jackie's eyes coils. As you can see, I'm using a very little product and I'm focusing on the ends because that is the part I really want to put in place. I don't want it to scatter. Then I'll work it upwards. It is time to twist so you have to divide the hair into two equal parts because you're not going to share so make sure that when you divide your hair into two that is what you're going to twist to the end you're not going to divide another section and add as you're twisting so that is why you have to make sure you divide the hair into two before twisting and if you look closely you see that my twisting was tight I made it tight so towards the end now I'm going to coil it around my finger as you can see and look at that I am going to repeat that all over the hair. I made sure my front sections were smaller than the ones at the back because I wanted a more defined curls at the front. Just make sure that the hair is really damp, like almost wet before twisting. That is why I kept spraying my leave-in. You can use water, actually. If you don't have that leave-in, it's either you use your regular leave-in conditioner or you use water. So I'll just repeat the same process until I'm done with the whole Hair. I'm sure you can see that I used water there. The hair was getting dry, so I applied water before going in with the living.
remember no sharing so if you started with two separate strands you're going to work with that till the end so that is it you are done this is what my twist look like so i'll go to bed with it using a scarf and here we are two days later the hair is very dry so i'm going to oil my palm using the jamaican black castor oil then i'll go in and untwist the twist I was amazed at the results here. Just look at that. So defined, shiny, and healthy looking hair. So I'll go ahead and do the rest of the hair. Just make sure that your palm is well oiled because you don't want to mistakenly scatter those, the, the coils. Just look at that. Look at those beautiful coils. So this is it, looks beautiful. So I'll go ahead and separate them again. This is where I always make mistakes. This is where it, where it always gets bad. I don't know why. The twist out was beautiful. And when once I started separating them again, I noticed that the curls were not sleeping as in they were not relaxed they were just sticking out like that so i don't know what i did wrong here the twist out itself was okay but this is always a problem i hope to overcome this problem someday and very soon The curls was giving. I was so proud of myself today. I'm actually getting better at the twist out. So this is what it looks like after separating. So I'll go ahead and pick just the front because I don't want to spoil everything. I don't want to regret. I just want the front to give me that full look, that fuller look. So that is why I'm picking only the front. So look at that, just trying to arrange the hair, keep them in place, I don't want them sticking, standing, I just want that arranged 
three styles. So this is it. This is the back. I love this. In fact, I love it. This is what it looks like at the back, the side, and the front. So guys, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please remember to do so. And also remember to give me a thumbs up. Leave your comments in the comment section.